All right, Nate. Catch me. <laughs> We need some wise words of wisdom now. Wise words of wisdom. Where do you think your what style is coming from, bro? Topic style. Oh boy, style. It's just something you feel. What's my style? Probably endless, endless video watching, taking notes, trying it out. When did you start snowboarding? When did I start snowboarding? I think I started when I was about 13. Levi. Yeah. When when did you start snowboarding? When I was like in the womb, I think. <laughs> Everybody's got their own different style. Yeah, everyone's got their own style. You know, I think the style makes your snowboarding your own and that's, you know, that's why everyone snowboards differently. Tips on improving your own style. Tips on improving your own style. I would say style kind of comes from... <laughs> I would say time on the board. Um, you know, you, you want to try to keep your tricks as fluent as possible. Keep yourself composed. Arms are a big one. Keep them down. I mean, I know you have to use your arms to snowboard, but the lower the arms, usually the better the trick. Um, and you don't have to go huge when you've got a lot of style. If you don't want to grab, you don't have to grab. Just make it look good. What I say is, uh, do we look good? Yes. Do we care? No. Do other people care? Yes. <laughs> Chairlift interviews, part one. We will return back shortly. Okay. All right, here's a question for style points. Is it crucial to wear sunglasses and a hat that will guarantee fall off in a high speed trick? These will not fall off because they're meant for a six year old. <laughs> Whatever feels the most comfortable for you is what you should do. You want to be as comfortable you're as possible. You're doing it for yourself. Comfortable as possible. Cool you want to breeze. feel you want to feel like you're in a bed so you can sleep while you snowboard. <laughs> wow. All right, we got to explain to the folks why we think Levi style is so good. It's a very good question. Being born Smooth. in the woods in Vermont. Born in the woods. Just drinks maple syrup for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Um, that is a huge, that's a big reason on why he's so steezy. Slippery. He's slippery. Slick. He's got some slick style. Yeah. Growing up on the East Coast, I want to say, has a huge part to do with style as well because you are just forced to snowboard in the most brutal conditions. And then when you get to California, perfect bluebird, sunny conditions every day, it's actually a lot easier. And the time on the board, I want to say, is more important than anything if oh, you've yeah. been snowboarding your whole life then you reach that level of comfort which makes your arms go by your side and not overthink things and then another huge thing that i would say is getting your gear dialed in to the point where you're not changing it at all because when you change your gear up things feel different and then you have to adapt to that if you get the right gear like you've been riding the same snowboard for how long i've seen you break your board and you just constantly well, have this actually i've got a lot of the same boards however i set them up exactly the same i know exactly what width my binding should be at the degrees it is a new board but it doesn't feel like a new board you think a little wider stance helps with some genus or what it depends it's all personal preference for me certainly it helps a lot i've dabbled with switching up my my stance quite a few times in the past year and i think i've dialed it in and it is a little bit wider but kind of a tall dude a bigger guy got broader shoulders i think the the rule of thumb is your binding should be as wide as your shoulders This is where the whole style thing really starts to get debated. Oh, I'm gonna try. See, it doesn't matter what people think about you. A lot of people hate on scooters. I'm just out here having fun. That's all that matters. All right, that is it for today. I hope you guys got some uh, little tips or advice there about how to improve your style on a snowboard. I want to say more than anything, it's just building that comfortability within yourself. And that comes from having the correct gear and then having an insane amount of comfortability on a snowboard, which I also believe comes from a lot of years riding, growing up riding. And if you didn't grow up, like I didn't grow up riding, then just committing to moving somewhere where the resort is amazing and you can get good lap time, like Corinthia Parks at Mount Snow in Vermont, and then just grinding, 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 putting those hours in is the most crucial, important thing you can do to improve your style on a snowboard.